Hey all, it's Fox. I want to talk about the quantum internet. I believe it's a technology that's a requirement should our ambitions be to reach a technological singularity. The Trump administration, way back in December of 2018, signed into law the National Quantum Initiative Act with the goal to expand the US's leadership in quantum information sciences. It also set the lofty goal of developing new quantum capabilities. In the time since this act was implemented, less than 24 months ago, the US is now claiming that they have a clear path, a blueprint, to make the quantum internet a reality. And unlike the unveiling of older technologies, they are not holding back on the rhetoric at all. Paul DeBar, the Undersecretary for Science serving as the Energy Department's Principal Advisor on Fundamental Energy Research, Energy Technologies and Science, is on record stating, the quantum internet presents a next generation public square for discussions, and once made widely available, can metamorphosize our entire way of life. That word, metamorphosize, really jumped out at me. I've never heard it used in government ranks, because the word itself is tied to the paranormal. I think the choice of that word underscores just how alien a quantum internet is. But before I dive into this, if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. I truly believe that the truth is stranger than fiction, so I seek out the strange, because odds are, that's where the truth is. I will always argue for wonder, anything less is just plain boring, and why choose the mundane when the alternative is so much more fun and accessible. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm actively growing this channel, and my intent is to post new content on a regular basis. I love to muse about science and technology, and all the stranger phenomena this world has to offer. From next-gen tech to the UFO phenomena, and everything in between, and would love for you to join the conversation. But moving on. You may remember, about a decade ago, the science news was all abuzz with claims of the first teleportation. I honestly thought this had been accomplished only a few years ago, but when I looked it up, over a decade had actually passed. A team consisting of scholars from the University of Maryland and the University of Michigan exploited quantum entanglement to send data a short distance. In a nutshell, what they accomplished was to teleport information between two separate atoms in unconnected enclosures one meter apart. Sending data one meter doesn't seem all that impressive, but this feat formed the foundation on which the quantum internet would be built upon. The then group leader, Christopher Monroe, stated that, our system has the potential to form the basis for a large-scale quantum repeater that can network quantum memories over vast distances. And that is exactly what it did. In reality, this was the first demonstration of a quantum network. A small network, but a quantum one nonetheless. Now let's talk a little bit about how it works. The quantum internet exploits quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is that quantum phenomenon that Einstein referred to as spooky action at a distance. It can be observed when two or more particles become entangled. Once entangled, it doesn't matter how much distance is between the entangled particles, one meter or one trillion light years. What happens to one particle simultaneously has an effect on the other entangled particles. It's this observed phenomenon that entices media to describe the transfer of data along a quantum network as faster than the speed of light. Labeling this data transfer as faster than the speed of light is a bit of a misnomer. Nothing travels faster than the speed of light, even data. We haven't broken physics, yet. What's actually happening is still shrouded in mystery. No one knows why quantum entanglement is possible, but we did figure out a way to exploit it. Kind of like how our ancestors knew how to boil water, but didn't understand why the water boiled. All they knew is that they could exploit this phenomena for any number of reasons. This is where we are with quantum entanglement. So. Instead of sending massive amounts of data physically over cable, we are now entangling particles at each end and encoding them with data that we then manipulate. So what's all the big fuss about? With a 5G network, we can download gigabytes of information in no time at all. Isn't this quantum internet thingy a bit redundant? There are three main areas, as far as I can tell, that the quantum internet will be a massive contributor. First, there is the security of our networks. Currently, Every foreign adversary we have has a hand in our networks in some way, from the Russians to the Chinese to private hacker groups. If they want in, they are going to get in. Never underestimate the tenacity and determination of a hacker. Critical infrastructure, like our power grids and supply lines, rely on a network that is extremely exposed, and the quantum internet promises to once and for all secure these areas for malicious tampering. Once fully implemented, in a few short years from now, this quantum network will elicit massive size of relief from the people responsible for securing our network infrastructure. Second, a quantum internet will be an indispensable tool in our ambitions to become a multi-planetary species. 
Currently, when Mars is at its closest point to Earth, along its orbit, it takes over three minutes for data to traverse the distance between Mars and the Earth. Three minutes is a long time to wait to have a conversation, and a secure and fast lifeline back to Earth may mean the difference between life and the alternative for newly landed colonists. A quantum internet will ensure interplanetary communications occur instantly. Martian settlers won't be traveling with terabytes worth of data on hard drives. All the data on Earth will be instantly available to them via a quantum internet. Now imagine we travel as far out as Neptune, some 4.5 billion kilometers away. Data transfer, in this instance, would again be instant. Even if we were in another solar system entirely, the data transfer would still be instant. A quantum internet would be an incredible luxury. I laugh because Hollywood never imagined a quantum network. Many futuristic movies set in space always have a lag time for communications. It won't be long before we can laugh at how silly our sci-fi actually was. The truth is fantastically stranger than fiction. But perhaps the most astounding use of a quantum internet will be right here on Earth. Google, IBM, Honeywell, and dozens of other outfits are racing right now to claim quantum supremacy. They want to build a machine, a universal quantum computer, that would solve problems and make discoveries that are impossible to do on our traditional computers. A quantum network made up of numerous small, simple quantum devices will birth a technology that will be able to accomplish the things these big tech firms have been attempting. So despite the big tech firm's limitless resources and talent, it appears the US government, in partnership with numerous universities, will be the ones who will truly claim quantum supremacy first. Paul DeBar, the Undersecretary of Science, is also on record stating, Our goal for the quantum internet is to bring together a broad and diverse community from our labs, the private sector, and universities, a community that will combine traditional network capabilities and infrastructure with new hardware, new materials, and new methods to create something truly groundbreaking. The race is on, and I suspect we will see some futuristic tech in a time frame comfortably counted in months, not years. Now, if you've been sniffing around my channel, you may have noticed that I'm a big proponent of information theory. I'm convinced everything is information. The data in your hard drive, the energy spewing from our sun, and the atoms that make up our physical bodies. Everything is information. What if we could compile and decompile all that data and send it vast distances instantly along a quantum network? Perhaps the transporter from Star Trek is not that far off into our future. We may be just a few discoveries away from instantly teleporting not only matter, but living beings, distances ranging from a few feet to light years. There would be no need for massive, resource-hungry starships to visit other solar systems. Perhaps we'd only need to send a small quantum probe in advance to establish a network and we would simply travel along this new quantum path. Even if transporting matter, inanimate or otherwise, is not in our future, sending massive amounts of data most certainly is, and that works both ways. Imagine a quantum-enabled probe scanning alien solar systems from afar and sending reams of data back to Earth to be fed into a quantum computer for analysis. What are we going to discover? The universe has literally been at our doorstep, but now it seems we finally have a key to the door. The thing is, the quantum internet is in its infancy. Its promise is already mind-blowing and mere months away, and there was no doubt in my mind that there are implications of this new tech that are simply unknown to us at this point in time. Think about all the unintended consequences, good and bad alike, that our current internet created. Now supercharge this. We truly are on the verge of massive change. This decade is going to unveil incredible wonders. The wait is over. The future truly is here. Thank you for listening. If you like my work, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And remember, this ride is not without risk. Be careful out there and take care.